Well, hey there, good looking. How can I help you? Ah, yes, here for the farming tutorial, aren't you? Fair enough. Okay, then, boys and girls, behind me here is the design for an infinite dirt farm. This is so efficient, however, I consider this more of an exploit rather than a farm, you know, compared to my other videos. So if you guys still want to use this, you can go ahead and I'll still show you how to do this. I, however, won't be doing this in my survival world because it is just too efficient. So yeah, let's get to it. Okay guys, so this is numero uno, the simpler one, which most of you will probably be building. That there is number two, but it takes a lot more work. So, basically how this works is you just AFK here, just gonna stand back a bit, because I keep breaking the piston behind that, you see. Depending on what shovel you have, uh, you'll break the piston behind there, but basically we just sit here and we go like this. And as you can see, we of course keep breaking all of these. And I'm aiming to the left now, because I don't want to break the piston. I've done this video three times now, and I keep breaking the pistons behind there. <laughs> and, of course, that is what this is all about. I kind of want this to break. This is all the good stuff, by the way. This is a cabinet. I like the way they open, and it just looks fancy. Um, but, yeah, I kind of want this thing to break, because I want to show you guys how to do a reset. Every now and then, this one will break, this more basic one. And then you have to do a reset with it. So I'm kind of hoping that happens now. Of course, it doesn't want to. I can see this bronze ingot in front of me. Uh, if, if you just put a hopper there, obviously you'll catch that as well. But we just AFK here, kind of, kind of sort of AFK, just hold in, you know, hold the old, good old one-handed gameplay. Just hold onto the mouse or whichever, whichever other weapon you weapon button you've changed it to. Wow, lots of random words coming out in. An unknown order today anyway so it is not breaking now annoyingly what happens is this sometimes flows too quick and it solidifies this block um, in the farm in which case you've got to pull this emergency lever which basically makes this reset and uh, yeah then we can just reset that so it's not happening it's a bit annoying like I said it's been happening this whole time so we can just sit here and pra, 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 pra. AFK, 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 Dirt Farm with Treasure Hunter, and this is why, ah, there we go, finally we go. So, that just happens now and then. And, uh, yeah, so to do that, we do doo -doo, the emergency lever, we get rid of this block, and then resume, and we're back in business, baby. And, uh, yeah, this of course works with the skill, I've never actually used this in Idlecraft ever. But apparently it's pretty good, so I had a look. It's not here, it's, it's under mining or something, isn't it? Farming, agility, building, uh, as it under agility, it's the digging thing, isn't it? Where is this digging thing? I really should know these things if I'm making a video, aren't you? No. Is it even in here? It is not. I'm looking in the wrong menu. It's under the L menu, that's why. Stupid me. Anyway, uh, of course I will edit that out. No way I'm leaving that in this video. So, this treasure hunter perk, blah 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 blah, 5% chance for loot, so you get 25% chance of loot, which is random as you can see. And to be honest, I might actually do this now. Not for the loot, I don't want any of the loot. I want the music discs, because they are hard to find. Look at these, mice on Venus, dry hands, what else is this? This is just a standard one, but these. Like, you can get some pretty sweet music, and I do like you know, jam in the old music box in Idolcraft because I do like these AFK things, so just jam in some music while, you know, AFK and, and figuring stuff out, that's that's quite nice. Right, so how this works, let me see, creative, of course, creative mode, this is hard to get, this is the main thing that you need, this is Vespid, Vets Honey, there we go, Vets Honey, and this you get from Vespid Queens, um, which you'll find in jungle and swamp biomes, but they only start making this stuff once they start building a hive. So it's pretty difficult. Um, yeah, I'll make a, I, I'll probably do a tutorial at some other point. I was thinking about it for a while and anyway, uh, how to you know, make like a, uh, a honey farm or something along those lines. So I'll probably make another tutorial, but for now I won't do that. You get these in the jungle and so on, and then they, they create these pools of honey. So this is pretty hard to get. 
But if you're just careful and you have time, you know, just go to a jungle, you just AFK there with a name tag, just build yourself a little glass house or something, and then you'll be fine. You just fine, you know, wait for a queen to spawn, you name tag her, she'll probably kill you. She's not the uh, most well behaved lady. And um, so yeah, she'll build a hive eventually. You just need to hang around the area up until she starts building this hive and scoop yourself a bucket of honey and then skedaddle out of there. Cool. So this one here, how we build this is from here from the top, this is three blocks, one, two, three, in this third block. Just put down your bucket, you surround that obviously. Put one block in between here, that is one block of glass in between. Then we put a water source block here on top, and then that just goes one down, one to the left. And then this spot here, directly underneath, and this is where the good stuff will form. So from there, you just get yourself a, uh, what you call it, underneath there, just a hopper underneath. And that just feeds into your cabinet here. These two signs here is to stop it, this when it breaks, so this water or this honey, which will basically, it basically almost par paralyzes you, it's that sticky, it slows you, like, down completely. So I just put these two signs, so that when that happens, you don't get, like, you know, annoyed. And uh, that is that part. On the back here, we have a piston, of course. So, just directly next to this, so one down, one to the back, you put a piston pointing towards us. And next to said piston, of course, just a lever attached to the block next to it, just to do that reset every now and then when this thing breaks. And that is that. Look at that. It's uh, pretty damn easy to do this, as long as you have the Vesper honey, which is, uh, like I said, extremely difficult to get. Well, not extremely. It's hard, depending on your playstyle. Um, right. And this is number two. This is the Super Omega Try Hard Ultra whatever version. So this is, yeah, this one like requires you to have a high tier shovel with a fishing shield or something. Because if you don't, um, yeah, if you can't break the dirt in time, it stops working and you have to reset it every time. But yeah, I'll, I'll stand here, well, I'll, maybe I'll just, I'll just stand here so you guys can just see what happens. It does random um, block resets every now and then, so it does reset itself at random. But in order to, you know, um, reset it when you want to, like, we'll have to do like a redstone thing like on a button just to reset it when we can't keep up to it because you have to be at the other end you have to be there when this happens um, and let's see if this happens hopefully I'll just show you guys by breaking this so so yeah you have to be able to keep up with that if you can't break it as fast as it does that then it stops working yeah see it wasn't able to make it <laughs> but then again I didn't break the wall to start with so let's try again so we can do this and uh, no <laughs> I'm also in creative with it which it doesn't help because I don't think efficiency on these tools actually help when I am not in creative. So yeah, let's try that again. And there we go, that is working actually. <laughs> I'm beating it, I'm winning. And you can see all the stuff fall in there, so this is super fast, as you can see. All that stuff going to the hoppers, going to the cabinets. And yeah, this is why I would basically call this an exploit, because this is no farm. Like, I don't, yeah, I don't know if this is meant to be possible. Obviously it is somehow, you know, but it just, it, it's, it's weird being able to do this um, in Autocraft. But yeah, you know, with whatever tracer you can get. So yeah, you can definitely go ahead and do this. But yeah, yeah, just look at that. And there, that is all back. So obviously it all goes in here. There's a random Ah, cold task. Okay, cool. So yeah, you can see this is all we got just from that little bit that we've been doing now. So let's have a look what is going on here. Pop this off into creative. So same business, just about as this one. This block on top there, the same formation. Just uh, this one underneath is where all the magic happens. One block in between, water shorts on top, one free below that and one to the left. And then just put yourself a block here in front with a sign on and a hopper. This is just because the hopper, like, um, I mean, you don't really, it doesn't need to be a hopper by the looks of it. It does a random block reset every now and then where this thing would just detect it and it, it would start spewing out dirt again. So I've since kind of decided that this hopper isn't really necessary, but you need the observer you know, behind that, looking uh, looking at the water block right in front of it, that is necessary. 
because every time this sends into block, this updates it, they just fight, you know, rapid fire, brr, machine guns them out there. So behind this fella, just put yourself a solid block, so that redstone, you know, that powers this block, just put yourself a smack of redstone next to that, and then a piston pointing this way forward, obviously, because it's, you know, firing this direction. So just a piston right here, and that will then power this redstone, and that will fire each time there's a block update in this little pool of water. And that makes this big old brown sausage fire out. And of course, these are all just Sigma Boobles, also known as Hopper. So I've just got a string of them. Was it six or. Yeah, it's six. Depending on my reach, because, you know, you can only reach so far. So yeah, six. So that is, you know, the maximum range. So you can just kind of harvest them like so. And then to do, a re I like to reset this manually. You guys want to do that so I've gone ahead and taken the liberty of doing a redstone line underneath there so I just put a block there it's a redstone line all the way underneath here you'll need a repeater around here somewhere because it won't reach otherwise so let's see repeater and we pointed pointing that way obviously there we go repeater cool that looks fine now this won't power really power anything, so this doesn't need to be uh, the hopper, like I said. But that is just to force that block update, so effectively that makes us do a reset. We need a little smack of redstone underneath here. And bang, and now we just need a button. Button. Button on that, and now when we are in survival mode, so you know we actually get the benefit of these enchantments, we can press this to a reset, if that is wired up correctly. It is not. Very anticlimactic. Very, very much you disappoint me. Right, let's see what went wrong here. Maybe it's not connecting there. Or is it due to this? It is underneath there though. Ah, now it does it. This was working before, I swear. Um, it's maybe because this redstone is not there. It needs to be there, I think. Let's try again with the repeated. Bang, now if you see, I just want to eye this line. Hey, yeah, that fire up. oh, there you go. You can see the block update now, do you guys see that? Look at a little flash. Flashy, flashy, haha. <laughs> okay, so that now works. Cool. Now we can reset this at will. And... This doesn't cut that off, does it? No, I hope it doesn't. So now let's try this one last time. Okay. Oh, there it goes. It just did its own reset. I don't want that, because that's one of the random block updates I was talking about. See, I didn't press anything. So I want to clear this out. Not being able to keep up. Now that it stopped itself, so now let's do... Ha ha ha. There we go. And now we can just stand here indefinitely. And by the looks of it... Um, yeah, die after it. But that's all right. Who needs life when you've got loot? Cool. So as you can see, that is absolutely splendid. And uh, yeah, the rate that spits us out is pretty damn fast. Let's see, from the piston here, that's probably 14 blocks. Is it? Was it 12? One, two, three. I can't count blocks because I require water. Just ignore this. These are all past experiments. Yeah, pretty damn fast. Anyway, so I don't need to really show you guys that, you just saw that. Right, so that is that. that those are the two designs, by the way, you just need the uh, the Vesper Honey. I am popping myself back into Creative, because I've got no other reason. Just one little extra in here for you guys, one extra chunk of info. Um, you can do this with the other liquids as well, uh, to an extent. So this is of course the Vez Honey, that turns into dirt as we know. This is Acid, that turns into Diorite. Uh, this is Ooze, that turns into Packed Ice. And this is the poison that turns into andesite. So yeah, you can make infinite farms for all of these materials if you choose to do so. So yeah, thought I'd just include that for you guys if uh, if you found that helpful. Well, so there you go. To hang around in survival anymore. And yeah, you can get yourself all these cool random loot drops. Like I don't know what all this stuff is, but uh, for those of you hunting this video, there clearly is something cool. I personally want the music disc, so I might go do some digging myself, but I won't do this here because I feel like this is an exploit, you know? 
um, but still, I want music discs. So yeah. Anyway, there you go. It's a exploit slash farm, more of an exploit in my eyes. But there is an infinite dirt farm for you guys looking for this sort of stuff, and you are very welcome. So that is it from me for now. Thank you so much for watching. And of course, if you liked it, found this helpful, that sort of thing, give me a like, smack that subscribe button. I appreciate it. And you guys have yourself a lovely day. This is Zerger saying, there's a creeper behind you. Cheers.